farm fam welcome back to my channel for those of you that are new welcome and welcome to another vlog you guys so there's a lot of things we got to go over in this vlog super exciting vlog that I have here but first you guys have been asking how mr. pig and Stewie are doing so I want to give you guys an update on that really quickly but if you guys are excited for today's video just like I am make sure you go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below make sure you turn on those post notifications so you don't miss any of these videos and of course if a chance my post notification shout out all right you guys let's get right into today's video so as you can see they're doing good Stewie just got out of the pond the little pig's taking a little rest on his igloo oh, there he goes he's laying down so they're doing good they're best buddies now as you guys know the ducks are with them the ducks love the pond um, basically they're free-range ducks and they live inside of here so they're thriving they come out they hang out over here with everybody their stomping ground is here and it's over in the pond basically mike's over there filling it up we always fill it up because they do go through the water a lot. But as you guys can see, these little buddies, they're friends, Stewie. So I was just walking back to go over to the barn and I heard in the chicken coop, like tiny little chick noises. And I was like, oh my gosh, we have two broody hens in there. Aside from the Americana black um, chicken that I had that was broody. And I just heard chicks and I'm like, oh my gosh. These hens were laying on eggs, but I didn't think it was long enough. So we're gonna go in there and see what we find because I definitely hear little chicks. Like those are not chickens. So let's go see what we find. Okay, so I'm in the coop. Oh, I see one on the ground. Oh no, we gotta save you. Oh my gosh, there's so many in here. What the heck? Please don't be mean. Hi, mama. She's really puffing up right now. I did not expect this. This is why I heard all the noise. Oh my gosh, this is adorable. She's got at least three in here. And there's one on the ground. Oh my gosh, you're tiny. <gasps> Guys, that looks like a hey hey baby. Please don't get me, mama. This chick looks so small. It looks like a bantam. I bet the dad is hey hey. Cute. All right. Oh, no, I need you. Oh, there's five total then. Because here's four. And then there's one wandering. Oh my gosh. And there's still eggs that are underneath her. <laughs> Oh my gosh, she wants her baby. So Mike's got the mom and one of her babies because she was not happy that we were picking her up. But we're trying to move her over into the area, like the little stall in the barn. Hi, baby. So everyone's a little scared. But we have to go and get on the road, so I need to grab these babies. But those two look a lot smaller, so I feel like those might be like Hey Hey's babies. We'll see. Guys, look at these two. They're like twins. Yellow bellies, brown little heads. So cute. Little twins. Mike, how do you feel? We're grandparents. Again, we've got our babies in the bucket with her eggs that she's still sitting on. We're moving her, and she's obviously not a huge fan of us. She doesn't know what we're trying to do. She's not in direct contact with her babies right now, but it'll be good for her. You're a good mom. So I'm over here trying to grab some hay for the nest for the mom and her babies, and look at this freaking nest. It's huge. Oh, my goodness. So I just need to grab some loose hay here just to put underneath her, just so she's a little bit more comfy. This is the mom, the other mom, and her babies, and they all stay with her. But now they're like, oh, a new mom, oh no. But <laughs> we got the little babies in here, so she's got her eggs that she'll wanna be hanging on with. This mom is literally, it's so weird, I've never seen this, they act like ducks, cause like ducks and ducklings, like they hang out with their mom. And these four chicks stay with their mom. So we have actually a lot going on in here right now. We have all these birds and they're just like over here because they're scared of everything that's happening right now. But we are moving them out today. Look at this, oh, new baby. Wow, you guys are a really great family. <laughs> this is kind of funny. It looks like they're viewing the baby. Got their little water set up. Mike just ran to grab some chick feed so we can fill that up for them. I would assume that they were definitely born like yesterday maybe, because they're very lively, they're all cleaned up, Not they're not wet at all or anything like that. Like, I don't think they were hatched out today. Could be wrong, but they're very lively. So they will be able to have food and water today. This is all the family congratulating the mom. So she's got her eggs still and her babies. She'll hang out in this little area. This mom doesn't really like to hang out in this area and her babies are good with all the other chicks. And by chicks, I mean these juveniles which they're really not chicks anymore, so we are moving a ton of them out today. So, it's pretty exciting. We have a lot of roosters, so this one's getting moved, this one's getting moved, all of them are getting moved. Well, not all of them, but most of them are getting moved out of here, and then the remaining will start to put in the coop. If you guys remember, 
We got this coop for the ducks. We said we would use it for things like this. So the remaining will move out to the coop because they're about ready now. And we need this stall to be cleared out anyways today. Hi guys. Look how shiny everyone is. Dinky kicking everybody off their hay. I was getting some questions about Dinky um, that if she'll get sunburned and stuff like that. I just want everyone to know though, we didn't actually shave her completely down to nothing. So she actually has hair, it's just very short. So it's about the same size as like these horses hair. So they're not getting sunburned. So I would assume that she's not getting sunburned. I haven't seen anything of sunburn on her. I think she's actually a lot um, happier and it's a lot cooler. It's so hot out. I'm actually sweating right now. I can show you guys in just a minute. You guys can see the sweat on my face. So it's really good for her. She seems a lot more lively that she's gotten rid of the weight of that coat. And um, we don't normally clip our animals anyways, as you guys, if you've been watching my channel for a while, we don't clip our horses. I said in that video, it was my first time clipping one of them. So that being said, this is something that was for her benefit. So she'll be fine. So we got the trailer loaded onto the truck. Mike just jumped in. So we're bringing an empty trailer today, you guys. Where's he going? Where is Mike going? Mike is leaving me. Goodbye, Mike. We actually have our saddles and such in the trailer. We've got Mike's saddle, my saddle, saddle pads, um, different bits and such. So we got all that loaded up. So I also went to Tractor Supply. I got some more buckets yesterday. They were on sale. We always lose these throughout like the property. I got another new trough just because we needed another one. And yeah, so I got some cool stuff at Tractor Supply. We're out here with the cows. Hi, mamas! And all the other cows are over here. Hi, baby! Hi! And Oak is their little livestock guardian dog in the making. She's a CP girl. She's an Anatolian Shepherd mix, but Mostly that. She's so cute. She's a big girl. She's really young too. And look how big she is. Look at look at these paws. Look at these paws. You're a big girl. So sweet though. back home we're in the pasture here with one two there's number well dinky doesn't include it i guess three and then four right there so just four horses in our pasture you guys and we came home empty trailered it's like empty handed we came home empty trailered so basically we didn't bring home a horse today. I did bring the empty trailer like you guys had seen because I actually did have intentions of, like good intentions, of bringing the horse home in our trailer. So that's why we brought the trailer. We were serious. We were serious about possibly getting this horse I was trying out. So I 
was really excited about possibly bringing this horse home and it's definitely not um, a complete deal breaker right now. When we are definitely not not bringing this horse home eventually. Uh, I know it was kind of complicated. So basically what I mean is like the horse is still in the cards. So I need to get a vet check, but obviously this horse is a couple hours away from me. So I've been trying to find a vet in that area. But the reason why I went to go try the horse is because I didn't even want to bother with a vet check before if I even knew that I wanted the horse or not. So now that I'm more interested in knowing that this horse is something that I'm interested in, there's a little kitty behind me, um, I'm gonna go ahead and get a vet check now. Um, at first, I don't know why I was like, ah, I'm not gonna get a vet check. And then when I was there, I was like, no, I think it'll be safe. Let's get a vet check. Um, I've actually never got a vet check on any of my other horses. Totally do not advise that though. Um, I guess I just had pretty good luck, um, but I don't wanna test my luck, especially because we don't need another horse. So this is purely like a want. So basically what I mean by a need and a want is that when I got Trigger, obviously they were all wants to be honest, but I needed a horse to ride per se. And then when we got Louie, that was gonna be a horse for Mike. But then obviously the circumstances are a little bit different with that. Um, he's sound, he's safe, but um, he's just not really like rideable. We've kind of basically retired him because of his past, etc. But then with Blaze, again, we, let's say needed a horse for Mike to ride so that we could ride together. And then we have Cash, who's like my project because I really wanted a baby and basically also a different type of horse because Trigger is gated and Cash is not. So if I was to get another horse, it really had to be something that I was really interested in because we definitely don't need a horse. I'm definitely not lacking in the horse department when it comes to horses. So I just wanted to make sure that I wasn't getting into something that I was gonna regret. So I wanted to make sure that I got a vet check. So I'm on the hunt for a vet in that area. So I've been calling around but I'm very excited about this horse. But as you guys can see, I blurred out the horse because I don't want you guys to get too excited just yet. But whether or not I get this horse or not, I will definitely show you guys what the horse looks like and everything after I decide. But I don't wanna get my hopes up and I don't wanna get you guys' hopes up as much, but I also wanted to bring you guys along the process and let you guys know that there is a possibility that we are going to be getting another horse because I tried out another horse, so I'm really excited, but we don't have another horse right yet, but if you guys are excited, or let me know your guys' thoughts about getting another horse in the comments down below. So if you guys are excited for us possibly getting another horse, make sure you go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up. And if you guys aren't subscribed or have your notifications on, make sure you turn them on right now so you guys don't miss the next update about this horse because you guys are not gonna miss it. This horse is different than what we have completely and you guys will eventually find that out. So make sure that you guys are subscribed right now and have those post notifications on. All right, you guys, I love you and I'll see you in the next one.